I'm now pleased to present the video of our Servium alumna. Ursuline Academy's 2017 Servium alumna, Laura Virant Einspanier. Laura has long carried the Servium values throughout her professional, personal, and spiritual life. At Ursuline, Laura was student body president and received the Sede Sampiente Award. She attended the University of Texas at Austin, graduating Phi Beta Kappa with a Bachelor of Arts and a Juris Doctor degree with honors. After practicing law for seven years, Laura joined American Airlines in 1991, and after 23 years as an executive, she retired to devote more time to her family and other interests. Her real passion lies in the work she does for Christo Ray Dallas College Prep, which opened its doors in 2015. Laura joined the Christo Ray Dallas Feasibility Study Committee in 2013 and has been on the board of directors since 2014, serving on several board committees. She is also a study hall proctor, building strong bonds with many of the students she has tutored and mentored. She and her husband Jim have been married for 32 years and are Eucharistic ministers at St. Monica Church. They have two grown children, Sarah, Ursuline Academy class of 2007, and Andrew, Jesuit class of 2011. I think Laura is a strong example of what um, Ursuline encourages all the young women that graduate from there to be, which is dedicated to others and not towards themselves. Uh, ability to work hard through all sorts of difficult issues and be ready to innovate in an ever-changing world. Uh, Laura has done that uh, throughout her career and, and now um, in retirement and all the work she's done for Christo Ray Dallas uh, as a founding board member, as a donor, um, as a volunteer uh, on so many different fronts. She's always been ready to serve. I believe Laura has been recognized for her work uh, because some people do service to feel better about themselves and some people do service to make other people happy, to make other people um, feel calm, feel loved and supported, and that's Laura. But there's no better person than Laura Einspanier to win this award. I've known her the last four years, and in fact, my first interaction with her was at Ursuline, because our original offices for Chris Ray Dallas were at Ursuline, and she and I sat in that boardroom uh, for more hours than she and I could probably care to admit, talking about this vision for this new school. And, you know, Laura is so interesting because, uh, you know, when she was at American Airlines, she did one of the most, uh, one of the largest uh, mergers in airline history. So she was the chief legal officer that really orchestrated that merger. And that's exactly what Ursuline wants out of their graduates, is to be successful. And she did that. And then when she decided that she no longer wanted to be in the business world, she chose Krista Ray Dallas as her mission. And this place would not be Krista Ray without Laura Einspanier. And I can tell you that everything that she does in her capacity as a board member comes back to what's good for the kids. I mean, she, she wears, uh, she's, she's emotional in a great way, and you can see the care and concern that she's got for the real purpose of Ursuline and any other school, which is the kids. So she, she definitely uh, portrays that, that mission and she feels it deeply and you can, you can see that all the time. There are many qualities about Laura that I appreciate and admire, but as a woman I think I really admired not only her sense of service, but her sense of being a woman who's determined and is not going to let any barrier or stereotype get on her way. And to me that's inspiring. She's smart, she's easy to get along with, and she works with passion. She's talented and creative. She's a great problem solver. She doesn't seem daunted by any problem that's that she's presented with. Um, and she's so focused on the mission. I mean, somebody like this, it's, it's so easy to see why she deserves this award. And I'll tell you that I'm a more faithful person as a result of Laura Einspanier. She will talk to me about retreats she's been on. She will ask me about my faith life. She will tell me about things going on in her world that she asked me to pray for. And I'm a better Catholic because of that. Um, I don't think many people can say uh, that they're better Catholics because they've met someone, in, one individual. I can honestly say I'm better uh, in my faith life because I've met Laura Eichmann. To me, Laura exemplifies a quotation that I love, which is, be the change that you want to see in the world. And she works every day to be that change. Laura Einspanier, 
Congratulations on your Servium Award from the families, the students, the board of directors, all the faculty and staff around here that love you. Congratulations, it is well deserved. We're proud of you and keep it up. Congratulations to Ursuline Academy's 2017 Servium alumna, Laura Virant Einspanier. Thank you, Gretchen, Lauren, Claire, and the Ursuline Alumni Board. I also want to recognize and thank the many members of my family who are, who are here today, but especially my mom and dad, Ann and Al Byron, and my always <laughs> and my always, as everyone knows, incredibly supportive husband, Jim. I also want to thank my former American Airlines colleagues for being here, my Crystal Ray posse, but last and not least, my amazing friends from the class of 1977, Made in Heaven. I am honored, but really more humbled to be receiving this award. I really don't feel deserving of any recognition because I have truly received so much more out of my efforts on behalf of Christo Ray Dallas over the past four or five years than I've given. As my family and friends will tell you, Christo Ray Dallas is my passion. A lot of people would say my obsession. <laughs> um, so briefly, for those of you who don't know about it, Christo Ray is an incredibly unique educational model where determined students with limited economic means are given the ability to earn the cost, the majority of the cost of a Catholic college prep education by going a longer school year with longer school days and working one day a week at some of the most prestigious companies in Dallas. It's a truly transformational model. They earn a quality education, they gain real work experience, and they encounter role models, mentors, and opportunities that they never would have imagined. But most importantly, Christo Ray graduates are enrolling in college at the same rate as, as high-income students, and they're graduating from college at over three times the rate of their economic peers. It works. In terms of this honor, however, I'm going to borrow a phrase that Mickey Melsheimer used last year in her Servium speech. It takes a village. Christo Ray Dallas would not be the success it is today without a much broader Ursuline Servium community that has supported it from day one. In fact, long before Christo Ray Dallas in 2003, Melinda Gates recognized the transformative power of Christo Ray and donated $10 million to the Christo Ray Network to replicate the model across the U.S. In 2014, as Kelby mentioned, when we still didn't have a location for the school, Gretchen joined our board and gave us office space in the old convent. Sister Mary Troy and Sister Peggy were always, don't tell Gretchen, generously providing us with supplies <laughs> <laughs> as we tried to set up shop. In 2015, Christo Ray Dallas was the Ursuline Dads Club's community service project and a community service project for several students. Then, let's see, one of our first four hires was it an Ursuline alum, Michelle Cox Shira, and she's been an incredible asset to the school. Today, we have three Ursuline alums on staff with Mary Alice Graycheck and Molly O'Brien now teaching. But we couldn't have done it and really gotten the school up and running with donors, volunteers, and jobs for the students. And again, the, the Ursuline Servium community was there from day one. Mary and Mike Terry jumped on board quickly, along with several former prior Servium Award winners who are here today. Mickey Melsheimer, Marguerite Mars, I know you're here, <laughs> Carolyn Shaw Newhoff, uh, Mary and Bill Sladek, and as I look around, I see lots and lots of volunteers from the school. Annie Gutierrez has volunteered. Let's see, Missy Wainis has volunteered. Vicki Moran. And our cheer coach, 
Julia Cartwright. The list goes on and on, but I'm pretty sure you don't want this speech to do likewise. <laughs> so in closing, I accept this honor, not for myself, but on behalf of the many, many Ursuline staff, students, alums, and parents of alum who've helped launch Christo Ray Dallas to success. I'm very, very honored for this, and I thank you, and I thank you for sharing my passion for Servium and for Christo Ray Dallas. Laura, you truly embody the Servion spirit, and you are a wonderful role model for all of us.